Before we go to the image that was taken by the Hubble telescope, which would be the Aristarchus crater, we're going to look at these Apollo images or Apollo 15 images that were taken of the same area. This is Aristarchus here. This is Herodias. And this is called Schroeder's Valley. Now, the scientists claim that this once was a lava flow. And you're fixing to find out not only was this whole area hidden of all the structures and buildings around it, that this never was a lava flow. Uh, this was some type of above ground entrance way that went into Herodias Crater. And at one time it was covered with glass also. Now here's a different angle taken by Apollo 15. And you can see more of the texture at this angle which is all structures and buildings that have been ossificated. And you can see it's slightly more detailed. You can also see where Schroeder's Valley actually goes into Herodias, uh, what they call Herodias Crater, which appears to stop right here. And they made it look like that, but when you get into these other images, you realize it actually goes into that area. And then here's a, a different image from Apollo 15. And I did do some imaging on it to bring out, or to bring out a little bit better of some of the structures that have been covered up. And you can see the buildings and the squareness. You can see some of these over. These are fairly detailed for as much as they're ossificated through here. And then you can see through the walls of this glass zone where they're deteriorating and slowly collapsing. So that's how much cover-up was done uh, in the beginning. So now we're gonna go to the image that was taken by the Hubble telescope. Now, when you go to look this up, it's going to tell you that the Hubble telescope took this image. And it's also going to tell you that the Clementine also took this image. But this image is actually computer generated. So what they did was they did the topography by the Hubble telescope, and it was done first. And then the, the other layering effect they took from Clementine and put over it. So let's look. Um, at the definition topography and see exactly what it says. The arrangement of natural and artificial physical features of an area, a detailed description or representation on a map of the natural and artificial features of an area. So what they've been doing before we even knew they were imaging the moon, they had been making a map of where all these artifacts and buildings and structures are at. Now you notice in this image, Schroeder Valley's end, and we're gonna take a look at this and I'm gonna show you um, or prove to you that this once had a glass that covered it. The smoky area is caused by the glass canopy that came off the top of the glass dome that covered the area. And you can see it through here. The dark area is where they added more ossification. So you can see uh, some of these structures because some of these structures are still in pretty good condition even though some of them have deteriorated. When they built these glass domes, they built two walls And then they built the structure of what is to be the glass dome on these glass walls to stabilize it. Then at the same time, they would put in a center support column 
that they would tie off the structure of this glass dome. Here's another uh, smaller crater, or what they call a crater. That used to be a glass dome. Here's that center support I was talking about, and there's a structure on it. So the whole area was done in the structural framework to hold the glass, and then on the top of it, the glass canopy extended over the area for miles. And what you're looking at, this coming out is the glass canopy because it extends over the glass dome area. And the reason it's flared out is because there's also walls underneath it that this glass dome was built on. And this what it looks like, and you'll see a lot of this in some of the images, and they claim that this is e uh, ejecta, and it's not. This was the glass canopy that covered the area. And of course, again, after millions of years, it's deteriorated, and there's parts where you can actually uh, see the lunar surface because the glass is, is now deteriorated and on the ground. If you look in the back, you can see these square pieces, part of this canopy that came off the top of this glass dome. And then I darkened it, and you can see the framework a little bit better in this area. And if you look back here in the back, you can see that most of these glass domes had geometric shapes to it. Now, in this image, you can see um, in this particular glass dome where the canopy collapsed and is hanging over the sides. And then here you got a geometric shape for this glass dome and one for here, and they're identical. So this shows you uh, actually uh, how much of a cover-up was done in the beginning. And slowly as... I guess time goes by, they're going to leak this information out. Okay, this glass dome here, you can see where the glass canopy's fallen. There's some framework. I'll show that to you in a minute. But we're going to go into this area, and you're going to see some of the structural part of these walls that supported the framework for this glass dome. And here's a close-up. It's not real good, but you can still see the framework in it. Here's the double walls that they built here, and you can tell where this one's collapsed and fallen away for the, the main structure of these walls. Now, the part that was overhanging that we just looked at. Here's the structure we just looked at. Here's a frame where you can see it goes up, goes down, it's rounded out. It matches the one perfectly uh, at the Dwarf Planet series at Occupator Crater, which actually was a glass dome. Has the same design in it. And then you, when I brighten it, you can see the framework, framework even better. And there's even some type of structure here. There's also a structure that pops up. It, it kind of, they kind of blended it in, but you can still see it. it. Has a square bottom onto it, which I believe was the base. It probably sits straight up at one time, and then of course it deteriorated and has fallen over. And this thing was at least two or three miles tall. That's how uh, huge and megalithic all these structures are. Okay, so now we're going to go and we're going to look down at these walls that this glass stone was built on. And this, this image turned out really well 
for as much as these images have been obfuscated and altered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an adjustments, and when I'm doing that, I'll meet you on the other side, and then we'll talk about it. And before I start, look at all these structures over here. And if you look close enough, there's a triangle structure right in this area. Okay, I'm going to make some adjustments, and I'll be back with you in just a minute. This last enhancement really brought out uh, both of those walls. There's one and here's the other one. Now where the walls haven't clapped, collapsed or shifted, they are spaced evenly apart. And at the top, they have the same thickness. But notice it looks like there are sections of it that has shifted and pulled away from the main wall. It appears the way they engineered this was they built these walls in section in sections because you can slightly see the sections in different places. This wall here is approximately a mile high and are 5,000 feet tall. And then you can see the debris from the glass canopy that covered the glass dome and the area hanging over the side of it. And then back here, you can see the framework for the wall, but there's no wall in it. It looks like because whatever this structure is fell over and fell into that wall and knocked it over because the structure extends past the framework. Now we're going to go to Schroeder's Valley, which is right here, which the scientists claim was once a lava flow. And I'm fixing to show that it, that it actually wasn't. And as you notice how this image has been ossificated, it doesn't show it connecting or going into Herodias uh, crater area. So I'm going to make some adjustments, and I'll meet you on the other side. enhancement you can see down into what they call Schroeder's Valley and it looks like this structure was lined with glass and of course we already know it was covered with glass in fact this is a glass panel here and the reason it hadn't collapsed down into this area look at the edge of it it's being supported by this debris debris field right here And then I'm going to go to the brighter image. And then you can see the brightness down into that valley area. And then again, you can see the panel. This, some of this debris field may be from this structure, whatever it is. It may have collapsed because you can see how it extends over. But with the, with the, the glass canopy and then the ossification applied on top, top of it, there's no way of me really getting any type of clear image out of it. In fact, there's a lot of artifacts uh, that I didn't even bother with because I didn't want to spend the time and the results be basically the same. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. This is Tony with Earth Files, Earth History, signing out.